My name is Ritesh, and I'm a student studying 11th standard. My question is, uh, all the religions have limitations of clothing. Uh, let me be specific to the women. Uh, but they've changed with time. But why is the burqa still the same? Why hasn't that changed with time? The brother said that by the passage of time, every religion has got clothing for women. But by the passage of time, the clothing keeps on changing. But why the Muslim women yet wear the burqa? As far as the clothing is concerned, brother, in Islam, there are six criteria for clothing. For the man, it's from the navel to the knee. That is the extent it should be covered. For the woman, the complete body should be covered. The only part that can be seen are the face and the hands up to the wrist. There are certain scholars who say that even this should be covered. The remaining five criteria are the same for the man and the woman. The second is the clothes they wear, it should not be so tight so that it reveals the figure, it should be loose. The third is it should not be translucent or transparent so that you can see through. The fourth is it should not be so glamorous so that it attracts the opposite sex. Fifth, it should not resemble that of the unbeliever. And sixth, it should not resemble that of the opposite sex. These are basically the six criteria. And most of the six criteria are even mentioned in the other scriptures. If you read the Bible, it's mentioned in the Bible in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 22, verse number 5. It says that the woman shall not wear clothes that which pertinent to a man, and a man shall not wear clothes that which pertinent to a woman. All those who do this, they are creating an abomination. It's further mentioned in the Bible in the first Timothy, chapter number 2, verse number 9, that the woman should be dressed up with shamefacedness and sobriety. They should not wear costly array, pearls and gold. And further it's mentioned in the first Corinthians, chapter number 11, verse number 5 to 6, that the woman that prayeth with the head uncovered, her head should be shaved off. There's no verse in the Quran and the Hadith which says that the woman who does not cover her head should be shaved off, but the Bible is stricter. Bible is stricter than the Quran, that if the woman that prays does not cover the head, the head should be shaved off. The same thing in the Hindu scripture. If you read the Hindu scriptures, it's mentioned in Ramayana that when Pasuram, when he comes to Ram, he says to his wife Sita that he the elder, therefore lower your gaze and guard your modesty. It's further mentioned if you read Rig Ved, book number 10, chapter number 85, verse number 30. It says that the woman who wears the clothes of that of a man, she is defiling it. She should not wear the clothes of a man. Further, it's mentioned that in Rig Ved, book number 8, that Brahma has ordered that the woman should cover her head. So in Hindu scriptures, Christian scriptures, Muslim scriptures, modesty is there, covering the head is there. By the passage of time, I do agree with you that Christianity now, you only see the nuns covering the head. They are called pious. If Muslim women cover their hair, they are called as subjugated. Why? Double standards. If you see a nun covered properly, therefore you see the photograph of Mother Mary. Have you seen the photograph of Mother Mary? Like a Muslimah. And she was a Muslimah, Muslim woman. Properly covered, with the wrist, only face seen. What I do agree with you, if you stick to the six criteria, by fashion, the types of hijab, the burqa, abaya has changed. As long as you follow the six principles of Islam and you change the color from black to blue to brown, no problem. As long as you don't break any of the six criteria, therefore you see new, new styles of hijab. But some styles of burqa, they are so fashionable that they break the law of Islam. There are so many shiny sequences coming that you're attracting the opposite sex. So that is haram. But otherwise, you want to wear red, you want to wear black color, no problem. People think black is compulsory. Black is not compulsory. If you wear black, maybe you may have to wash the burqa once in a week. If you wear white, you may have to wash every day. The choice is yours. You wear white and wash it every day. You wear black and wash it once a week. Choice is yours. As long as it doesn't break any of the criteria, six criteria of hijab. So now there are new types of hijab coming. As long as it doesn't break, you're allowed. But it should be modest. If it's modest, it's accepted.